All right, good morning. It is 7.20 and this is how we start our day. Here, can you? Okay, let's do this. As you saw, Winston was not in his cage when we woke up, and that's because we don't put him in there when we go to sleep. He constantly cries, and we just cannot sleep when this happens. But we are still crate training him. We're doing this by putting his food and water bowl in there every time we feed him, uh, leaving him in there for a short amount of time, and we're slowly building up his tolerance towards it because I, I do believe that crate training is necessary. It's just right now at night, we just don't put him in there. So now that he's done his business, we're gonna go inside and eat some breakfast. So you guys probably noticed when we got to the door both times I made Winston sit and then I went first and he followed me. This is because I want him to know that I am the leader and he is the follower. Winston, you ready for your breakfast? Okay, let's go make it. So for Winston's breakfast, we got a cup of kibble right here and we like to top that off with herring oil. Now herring oil is great for them, it says it's good for their coat good for the skin, increase mobility, and decrease shedding. So we just top that off over here. Then of course we have his water bowl, and then we top off his water with a little bit of pineapple juice. Now the reason why we're doing this is because Winston is now eating his own poo. So the vet told us that a natural way for him to not eat his own poo is just to put a little bit of pineapple juice and they basically said it'll make his poo taste disgusting. Even though you think his poo tastes disgusting already. So we just top that off on his water and then he's good to go. Come on Winston, let's go. All right, so now that Winston is done eating, we're gonna go right across the house to the park to burn some energy off. All right, so you see Winston is just going crazy now. He's biting my arm. He just, he's losing his mind right now. So one way that I calm him down is first grab his collar, turn him around, pick him up. Just like that, he stops. He's being loose, he's not doing anything. And when I feel it's time, the time is right, I just drop him back down. And that's it.
So Winston got his little exercise. I got my little exercise. And now, let's hope he naps. We have errands to run today, so we're bringing Winston with us. We're not gonna leave him in the crate because we don't know how long this is gonna take and he isn't trained to stay in the crate for a long period of time. We could have dropped him off at my fiance's parents' place, but we decided not to because at the end of the day, this is our responsibility. It's not something that we like to pawn off to someone else, right? We signed up for this, so we're dealing it. We're dealing with this the best that we can, which is why we're bringing him with us. Now you could probably tell that he's not really accustomed to the car yet. And this is something that we're working on. You can just see he's like salivating a lot, but this is leagues better to what he used to be. So let's just, let's begin our day. So I'm first up to watch Winston and of course we weren't going to keep him inside the car the entire time That would just be cruel. So I'm out here with him now. Uh, I brought him his Kong which he's enjoying right now We also brought tug toys, treats, blankets, water, like everything just to make this experience as smooth and as easy as possible for him So when Winston is uneasy, I like to keep his mind preoccupied by giving him some treats and I like to do tricks with him as well. So these are all the tricks that Winston knows. Touch, good boy. Paw, yes, good boy. Down, good boy. That's my boy, that's my boy. We just got back from my errands and as you can see, Winston is sleeping now. Um, we had a couple accidents in the car. He peed towards the end and he vomited towards the end, unfortunately. The good news, I guess, about this is that he lasted this long, which is the longest he's ever lasted. And um, it's progress, but it's, not, it's still something that you don't want. That probably took out a lot from him, which is why he's sleeping now. Now this just gives us a chance to, you know, do things around the house so that's what we're gonna do and when he wakes up we're gonna continue with the video this right here is a gift for Winston what's up buddy look we got a gift for you you want to open it you want to open it are you sure you ready okay let's open it let's open it let's open it So this is called a dog brick and it's to stimulate his mind. It makes him think of how he's going to get his next meal. You basically open up each one of these red and white things. You stuff some food or some treats in it and they have to find their way into it and then they eat it and they move on to the next one. So I think this is even an Australian Shepherd on here, the front here. It looks like it. Anyway, we're going to be using this to feed him tonight. So let's see how well he does. So the way that we fill this out is for the white bones and the red bricks, we filled it with his normal kibble. And underneath the red bricks, we mix cheese, which is his favorite treat, and kibble as well. So let's see how fast he could beat this game. So it's 20 plus minutes now and Winston still hasn't finished it, but he went through 90% of it, which I'm actually surprised. Uh, so he did, I guess, well for his first time. Um, I absolutely love this game. It's definitely going to be a nightly ritual because just watching him, you can see the gears turning in his head. And at times he got frustrated and it's just, it's good that, that he's getting frustrated because that means he's working his mind. So definitely going to be using this every night 
Now, he's kind of still worked up, so I think we're gonna bring him outside. I'm probably gonna just run him back and forth, back and forth until he's a bit tired. And then uh, we're gonna wind down and just take it easy for the rest of the night. So, let's go outside. All right, guys, so now we're back outside and we're just gonna burn off the rest of the energy that he has. We're gonna run some laps and just get it over with. Night is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Come on with me, let's go. Let's go. Come on, bro. Come on.